Hello and welcome to Let's Play Break to Die by Kiari Games It's an Android game and we're gonna play and review a little bit uh, Break to Die is in an early alpha version It's definitely a game that needs to be updated and uh, it has many issues, the content is not so much yet but it's fun to play, basically it's a top-down driving game where you have to avoid the traffic and there is a bomb on the top of the car if you go below 70 kilometers per an hour or maybe it's miles I don't know because there is no unit specified then you explode not a unique concept but it's really fun uh, it has a pretty good physics however sometimes it feels broken but it can make really funny things it just cars flying around and you know it, it's a kind of kind of a fun stuff in this game there are many many uh, cars to play with um, I think there are 50 cars you can select from but you need to unlock them however my problem with it and that uh, all the cars have the space uh, have the sp uh, same specifications so there is no car with better acceleration or better top speed or something and the main difference is uh, lies within their shape maybe the weight can be different too and uh, and the wheel distance so it uh, kinda uh, makes the turning a little bit different on each cars I think at least but the difference is really minor so it's a little bit hard to figure it figure it out. Uh, even if you play all uh, with different cards, you don't really feel the difference. Uh, so you can upgrade your cars with these things: ammo, slow timer, boost, boost, car health, bada boom. Ammo gives you rockets uh, at the beginning because you have a rocket launcher on the car, so you can destroy cars rather object uh, on the track uh, this can be really useful and can help you out from in tough situations and also can be useful in some of the missions because there are quests in the game uh, that gives you money if you complete them slow timer well when you reach below 70 units kilometers whatever then uh, there will be a timer, a real, really little timer, a really short time period while you can go above 70 units or 70 kilometers or miles per hour I don't know the unit, sorry uh, and you can you can survive so this, so by buying this for crystals uh, you can actually increase the time so you have more chance to survive Boost boost is boosting your boost recharge time basically, so it will be a little bit faster because you you have a boost uh, in the car and uh, it's a really useful and it's a must thing to use in some situations. Again, it can be a lifesaver in many cases when you crash into something and uh, your car slows down way too much, but you can save yourself by using the boost. Car health, well, basically, your car can get damaged and it can be destroyed by getting hit way too many times. So, not only the bomb and the traffic, but even your own car can be your uh, own enemy. If you crash into many, many things, your health will reduce and you will die, bomb or not. Uh, actually, you can pick up rockets and uh, half packs uh, on the road, but they are a little bit hard to get them. I think that's a good thing actually, they designed the game this way, but... I think um, some of the objects are really way too hard to get. But a boom, I have no idea, it's a bigger rocket, that's what I know about it. I had never a chance to get it, and on my tablet... I have a lot better progress with this game and I'm getting closer to get the bada boom so I will probably see it soon. Uh, there is a shield but you can you cannot buy it yet. It's in development. 
Well, there are so many typos in this game, uh, unfortunate, but that, that's it. You can buy crystals or you can exchange crystals to money, in-game money. You can buy uh, crystal packs. It's like one euros and two and a half. I don't know the uh, exact exchange, sorry about that. But actually you can get crystals by doing quests and watching gods and also you can get uh, money by watching gods. For example if I would watch this odd I will get 50 coins that I can spend on buying cars. And uh, not, not cars actually, sorry, uh, upgrades. Cars are... Actually you can spend it on cars, sorry. If you have 200 uh, coins you can get a car but it's randomly selected so that's the deal so let's let's see the game itself the controls are uh, working like you can touch the screen on the left and the right side and you can turn your car the acceleration is automatic but you can break your car by touching both sides of the screen and uh, there is a rocket launcher and there is a there is the boost button and that's it and sorry about the ad Advertisement, okay. I really like the visuals of this game. It's simple and hot shaded. And it's good to look at it, it's really bright. Unfortunately there is no, not a big variety of uh, terrain and road parts yet, but hopefully it will be added in the later update. And sometimes the shading is way too flat uh, for some of the parts and it's hard to see the altitude changes. So as you can see there are some off-road sections, some other some some country roads and other things. Uh, unfortunately you cannot go in the tunnels, you die if you go there. So you need to follow the arrows. And as you can see there is some stuttering and that's not the emulator's problem, I think. I actually experienced something like this in, in my tablet too. I'm using KO Player, not BlueStacks, so this is, a, this is a really good Android emulator. Um, in some way it's better than BlueStacks, I think it doesn't have that much uh, crappy uh, applications automatically installing and ads and stuff um, and the performance is pretty good maybe the compatibility is not perfect but by the way uh, as you can see the game this is how it looks like on a real Android device so the emulation of this is perfect basically as you can see there is some shading at the, at the on the road uh, where the slopes are, but they are not visible enough in my opinion. So I think the developer should darken the shades a little bit so it would help uh, seeing the player where the where the slopes are and I died again. This is this is that kind of game. This is really addictive. You try again and again hoping that you can avoid the traffic. Maybe you will have better luck with the track and uh, <laughs> and the physics. Oh my god, sometimes it's really out of place, but it, it's really funny at the same time. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, I should have used my boost. By the, by the way, the boost works a little bit weirdly because it doesn't give extra power to your uh, drive shaft, but I. It, works like a rocket or a jet engine so if you use your boost while you are in the air it can propel upwards in the air if you, if you can see it can be useful sometimes but most of the times you fly out of the level or something if you do that so be careful using that oh what the heck was that as you can see there are some really weird physics related glitches, by the way the game was created in Unity 
game engine. This is the second release I play of this game. The previous one had a really bad optimization, it worked fine uh, on the emulator, but on my Nexus 7 II, it was really laggy and now with the uh, new update it runs pretty well on my device with the shadows enabled. The shadows are really, really demanding on your GPU. But of course it's real-time shadows and mm, shadow maps. So no wonder about that. It's not really suitable for weaker mobile devices. Okay, this is not a bad run, just I am making really silly mistakes. Oh shit, I should have used my brake. Because you can brake in this game by pressing the two uh, turning buttons. So, if you press them at the same time, your car will slow down a little bit. But in my opinion, that's not a good way to... Uh, I mean the slowing down is not so good, it should be a little bit faster in my opinion because you can see how it happens really slowly, you can see, it, it, it barely slows down, uh, I think it should be tweaked a little, <laughs> what the fuck, <laughs> it should be tweaked a little bit, <laughs> smile often, yeah, I really like those signs, what the hell, <laughs> oh shit. Now oh, it's stuttering again. Probably this is some of the level generation thing. Not not on the, not, it's not on the GPU part, but uh, I don't know. It's another thing that should be optimized a little bit. And this is a difficult area because I have no not I don't have too much space to avoid the traffic. I was lucky and I survived and the boost can help me out and buying that uh, boost uh, boost boost could definitely make things a little bit better. Okay, I am really lucky with the traffic so far. I really wish I could grab some goodies, like uh, rocket and health, especially rocket, but my health is really low too, so um, I can't be really happy, just look at the smoke from the, under the hood, it's not a good sign. Oh shit, okay, I used my boost, so I can, it, it's actually a pretty decent score so far. This is uh, up to my luck, basically. Ooh, okay. Oh shit! Shit! Please, please! Ah! Oh. One more run, and that's the end. I don't think I have too much to talk about this game. It has the typical Google Play style achievement system and scoreboard. Many, many. Also, okay, that, this is this is something I almost forget about. There are places in this game, but uh, in the current state of the game, it's nothing but uh, some color variation. So if I if I pick random, it may pick from summer, autumn. Uh, it was autumn or spring, sorry, and winter, and that's it. And it's a little bit bad that the rocket doesn't follow the the road. So you can see I got the winter one, it doesn't affect the driving, it's, it's the same. Oh shit, look at the traffic here, it's crazy. And this is something that should be tweaked too, because I don't think it's fair this way. It's a little bit luck based this way, not skill based. Well, you can argue about that. Holy shit. And there are some slopes where you crash into something and you get full stop. And you have no chance to survive. And that's another physics glitch in my opinion. 
By the way, if I... Yeah, so there is no volume control yet. And I think the music is way too low to com uh, compared to the other sound effects. So let's see how it sounds without the actual... Oops. Without the music. That's the only soundtrack in the game and hopefully they will add more. I don't know if it was created by one of the developers or it's a ro royalty free uh, music that you can download, I don't know. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Oh shit. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, I destroyed the four uh, lamps. So that's great. I got some money. And I can spend it on something. Uh, maybe ammo. But uh, I actually stopped playing this game for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think it's a really fun game and it has potential to be great. Uh, the developer definitely need to fix some shit. The optimization, the variety, the traffic is chaotic, it's really crazy. So I think it should be a little bit better, it should be fixed in some ways. Uh, maybe more weapons or maybe more stuff, maybe the braking should be a little bit more sensitive. And maybe the cars should have a little bit different uh, uh, properties like some of them should turn a little bit better some of them should have a better turning uh, more health and um, and few other little tweaks and more places to go but in overall it's a fun game I recommend to play it it's free from uh, Google Play it's in it's in development it's really early alpha version uh, you can see the version number Yeah here, so it's an early early version of the game, but I think it has potential to be great in the future So give it a try you want uh, uh, You won't regret it It's pretty good. Oh by the way one thing that I didn't talk about that optimization and graphics uh, graphics uh, related thing the problem is uh, that if you use Disable the shadows, it will make the things really flat compared to what it is already and it makes um, things to... It, it, it makes it a little bit even harder to figure out the height, the altitude of different things because there is no depth to the game and that's another thing that they should fix, maybe they should program a different way to render the shadows um, because it's a little bit slow I think this <laughs> oh look at that <laughs> I think it's, this is a really sh really slow uh, algorithm and way to render the shadows and it will make the game slow on weaker devices uh, by the way here is the music bandsound.com I will check this out so I, I don't know if it's royalty free or bandsound yeah, royalty free music, uh, which you can, yeah, you can download it for free, it looks like it. Okay, so that's how the music is, alright, I also already know it. Alright, uh, that, that's the end of the review of this game, I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more reviews, gameplay videos and many other things, if you have a good game, uh, that you would like to see a review about, uh, I will do it. Uh, I can play most of the Android games with this emulator, but not everything. And there are some compatibility issues, so uh, that can be a problem. I have Blue Stacks and this KO player or co player, I don't know what the, what is the pronunciation of this. Both of them are pretty good. I, sh I, I recommend you to give. It, give co-player or try it's a pretty good uh, software it runs many many android games and software pretty fine so again thanks for watching have a nice day and see you later